Welcome back audience, so Season of the Hunt has officially launched with today's update. So today I thought it would be a good time to talk about the good, the bad, and what they could have done better with the initial presentation of Season of the Hunt. But before we start I just want to remind you that if you enjoyed the content then subscribing to the channel and liking the video is much appreciated. And with that being said, let's talk about the season. So when you start up the game, you're going to get a notification that something is happening on the moon. And when you click on the moon destination, you're going to see that there's a new quest that gives you a new cutscene, which eventually leads you to the crow in the Tangled Shore. And after doing the initial quest, I thought it was a nice setup for potential story between the Guardian and the Crow. Hopefully that's going to get explored throughout the season, but for the actual content of the season, the Wrathborn hunts, they're cool. They're really cool. I really like the aesthetics. I really like the way you're supposed to hunt your targets down. It's actually really nice. Another thing that I really like is the way you get new items. Here you have the lure where you have to basically invest in different items to create the combination you want. This allows you to control if you want recovery, if you want mobility, if you want resilience to your gear, or if you want any specific masterwork or perks on your weapons. And this is a nice addition. It feels a little bit like a combination of Umbral Engrams and the Menagerie Chalice. So that's a huge plus for Bungie. Well done on that one. What's pretty lackluster with this season, which I'm severely disappointed with, is there's no new seasonal mods. We have the seasonal artifact, but one thing that's always excited me is the prospect of getting new mods. And we're not even getting previous year's mods, meaning if you're taking your PvE seriously, you're still gonna use Warmind cells for most, if not all, of your gameplay. Which, when you think about it, you can't even get them anymore, you can't even get the weapons anymore, so you're locked behind content that's not available anymore, and that's quite annoying and I'm actually very disappointed at Bungie for giving us the bare minimum of what they deem is a good season. Why I think this is the bare minimum is because outside of the Wrathborn hunts, they ask you to actually put items into your lure, but to do that you have to finish core activities, that is Gambit Strikes and PvP, meaning that you're gonna play stuff you already played most of the time for this new season. And when you basically get to the actual new activity, it's mostly as killing an enemy, go from point A to point B, and killing a new enemy, and get rewarded for it. The weapons for this season are pretty lackluster as well. Once again, they're giving us a linear fusion rifle that's not really gonna be that exciting because linear fusion rifles in the history of Destiny have been fairly weak, especially since Bungie seems to like to nerf them, like take Sleep or Stimulant for example. It was a good PvE weapon, then because it had some bad interactions in Gambit and PvP, it got nerfed across the board. And the grenade launcher, well, it's another void grenade launcher, it's perks that it can roll, it's not really that exciting, it's not something I would deem that good. And same with scout rifles, they're in that place between hand cannons and auto rifles where they don't really fit any kind of play style unless you really want to be outside of meta and you really just are determined to use them even though there are better options then sure you're gonna have fun with them but there's not really anything exciting the new heavy grenade launcher looks pretty cool i like it hopefully i'm gonna get a decent one and i can do a cool guide about it but overall this season for me personally has been pretty lackluster and i can't stress enough how extremely disappointed i am that we're not getting any new seasonal mods because seasonal mods is one of those things that always made this game more exciting it made it so you could create new and exciting builds and not having to repeat old ones that you've already been using for months on end. And with that being said, I'm going to ask you guardians a question. What do you think about Season of the Hunt? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, if you did enjoy the video, then liking the video and subscribing to the channel is a great way to stay up to date on all the latest uploads. It's also a fantastic way to support the channel itself, so what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button below the video and you're in the spectral realm today. You're not going to regret it. With that being said, I want to wish you a wonderful rest of your day. This is TC Spectre, once again, signing off.